Happy spring, Mustache Maniacs Film Co. fans. I apologize that this episode of Backstage Showcase is a week late, but I want to make up for it by doing something that is very much in the spirit of this season. So as always, we're going to be taking something from our archives and taking a quick, very quick, but very in-depth look at its development and how it was received. So for today, I'm going to be looking at a pair of characters, Freddy and Joey the Squirrels. Now, if you've watched all of our films, you may recognize Freddy and Joey as the main characters from the short film Freddy and Joey and Corn, Corn Farm. However, these characters are much, much, much older than that. So let me get into the backstory on where these characters came from. So the characters Freddy and Joey are actually not my own. They were my dad's own idea. He came up with the stories when he was much younger, and supposedly he told them to my mom years ago, and I remember growing up as a child that he would tell the Freddy and Joey stories to us, and I remember at times even I would spin a Freddy and Joey story or two. So when it came time to create an animated short film for the introduction to animation class at College of the Canyons, I saw Freddy and Joey as a viable option for animation. So one of the challenges that I faced when creating the Freddy and Joey animations was visualizing these stories that had been told throughout the years but only orally. So I first decided to draw up some turnarounds. Mainly I drew up turnarounds for both Freddy and jo Joey and when designing them I had to make them distinct. They needed to be squirrels but at the same time they had to look individual. So I made Freddy as someone who is someone who is more proactive, but he's also very smart. He knows where to go. So I showed him as being confident in his turnaround. And then Joey is someone who is more of a slob, but likes to take things the easy way out, which ultimately gets him into trouble. So I show that by giving him a bit of a pot belly. And I also wanted to distinguish him by also giving him a bit of a hat and also some spots on his chest. Some people have actually said that the spots look, look more like a rash than anything else, but <laughs> yeah. Once I had created my character designs for Freddy and Joey, it was time to put them into the world of Mulberry Woods, as I called it in the canon of Freddy and Joey. So first off, we have some cells here of Freddy in the Freddy and Joey teaser, the only fo fully animated piece of media that I have that relates to Freddy and Joey. However, both characters do appear in the short animatic Freddy and Joey in Corn Farm. This mainly focuses on the character of Joey, but it also features a bit of Freddy too. And the nice thing about this um, little ant animatic, I should say, is that it features the uh, only voice performances of Freddy and Joey. So just want to give a shout out to Nathan Crookston, who played Freddy, and Bryce Bollock, who played Joey. Unfortunately, audiences have not been that kind to the world of Freddy and Joey. Both the teaser and the animatic have gotten very, very little attention, and ultimately, Nobody has really talked about Freddy and Joey. However, I will say this, there was one entry into the Crazy Birthday e-card contest that features squirrels that look a lot like Freddy and Joey. However, it was recently decided to make the world of Freddy and Joey non-canon for the Mustache Maniacs Film Co. Cinematic Universe. And with that, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Backstage Showcase as we took a look at these characters from this very unique chapter from Mustache Maniacs Film Co.'s history. Thank you for watching as always, and be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't done it already, be sure to visit our official website at mustachemaniacsfilmco.webs.com where you can access all of our content, including our wiki, the press room, the all new Andrew Bermudez art, or art portfolio blog, and so much more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.